Hi, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist, and it's time for another Shinrazri video. Now today's table features the Montaheda tobacco leaf Shinrazri dinner plate that I recently featured in my Shinrazri shop with me and haul video. Now I'm really excited about adding colorful Shinrazri pieces to my collection and expanding beyond just the blue and white. So today's table is simple and highlights these unique tobacco leaf plates. So let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the star of the show and that is the tobacco leaf print dinner plate. Now the tobacco leaf is one of the most prized Chinese export patterns developed sometime around the 1780s. The original design shows the leaves of a flowering tobacco plant and there's a small phoenix perched on top of the plant that has a little flowering twig in its beak. Now this pattern contains 27 colors and 22 karat gold and it's based on an original vase that was housed in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So the tobacco leaf print as we know it today is an authorized reproduction um, that was authorized by the Metropolitan Museum of Art, but it has been remanufactured by a company called Mata Heda. Now these plates can be purchased at either Neiman Marcus or Bloomingdale's or any other fine retailer. However, the plates are super expensive and one dinner plate goes for about $160 per plate or more depending on where you get it. Now there are more affordable metal versions that are available online, which is what I have. One way or another, I think it is absolutely a stunning, stunning plate, and I'm so excited to get it. But unfortunately, because I have the metal reproduction of the reproduction, they only have dinner plates um, available. So they, I don't have an option to get like a salad plate to accompany my dinner plate. So for today's tablescape, I decided to go with just a simple pink charger, and then I just wanted to put my dinner plate on top just so that we can see the full pattern. Now I will of course be using these plates again and I'm going to try pairing it with different salad plates to kind of mix and match patterns. Um, but for today I really just want to put the full pattern on display. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my new tobacco leaf dinner plates. All right, so let's talk about the centerpiece. I love Shinrazri styled home decor. However, up till now, I've primarily kept my focus on blue and white Shinrazri pieces, but there is a whole world of colorful Shinrazri home accents that I'm just beginning to explore. Now the tobacco leaf print is a stunning example of colorful Shinrazri patterns that exist. And it's so unique that I wanted to do a simple yet creative centerpiece that had Asian vibes but also vibrant colors to complement the dinner plates. So I happened to be at my local home goods as always a few weeks ago and I saw this plain pagoda in the garden section and I thought it would make a beautiful centerpiece um, that was also unique that would complement not only today's tablescapes but a couple other Shinrazri tablescapes that I'm working on for the future. So I decided to add some silk orchids along the sides for pops of color and texture and I think it came out pretty good. So leave a comment in the box below and let me know what you think of my floral pagoda centerpiece. So I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. If you like what you saw today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.